thank, thank you, everyone. Uh, we are very pleased uh, to witness the adoption of the Security Council resolution on the situation in Myanmar. The National Unity Government of Myanmar today issued a statement on the adoption of the UNSC resolution on the situation in Myanmar. Please allow me to highlight some sal salient points of the statement. The Republic of the Union of Myanmar, as represented by the National Unity Government, welcomes the adoption of the UNSC resolution on the situation in Myanmar. Myanmar offers its deep gratitude to the United Kingdom for its leadership in the process of drafting and adopting the resolution and to all others who support the resolution. The National Unity Government supports the resolutions and accordingly urges the member states and all relevant stakeholders to timely implement the resolution as taking a step towards restoration of democracy in Myanmar. The resolution demonstrates the Security Council's progress in taking action on the serious crisis in Myanmar and haunts threats to international peace and security stability. Despite the positive elements contained in the resolution and the challenges to adoption, we would have liked to see a stronger text. We are clear this is only a first step. As such, the National Unity Government calls on the UNSC building on this resolution to take further and stronger action to ensure the swift end of the military hunter and its crimes. The Security Council's work only begins with this resolution. It should remain more regularly seized of the matter as a priority. Decisive action by the Security Council is needed to save lives of the people of Myanmar and prevent further destabilization of the region. I thank you very much. Ambassador, you know the generals who run your country. You've heard their words as they took control nearly two years ago. You've seen their very tough actions. Do you really think they're going to comply with this resolution? Yeah, of course, this resolution, the Security Council resolution, is legally binding. Definitely, the member states and the, all the relevant stakeholders have to uh, uh, comply with the provisions contained in the resolution. So whether they, they are complying or not, definitely the international community will not be silent. And that is why we really like to urge all member states of this UN and as well as the international community to put more pressure on the military to comply with the provisions contained in the resolution. Do you Thank think you. they will comply? Knowing, knowing, knowing what they've done over the last two years? Yeah, that, that is why uh, we don't know how they will comply with, but uh, we have to push. And with the support of the international community, we have to work hard to make it sure that they are compliant with the provisions of the constitution, uh, uh, provisions of the resolution. Definitely, that is why we keep saying that this is a first step for the further and stronger actions of the UN Security Council to make it sure that end of the uh, a swift end of the uh, the military hunter and the uh, that their atrocities against the people of Myanmar. Thank you. Ibtisam Azim Al Arab Al Jadid newspaper. You said you would have liked to see stronger elements in the resolution. Could you please elaborate which element you would uh, like to, to see? And also, what's your message to the. Uh, although you have a, a resolution that it's weaker than you wished, still there uh, were three countries who abstained. What's your message to these countries, especially Russia and China? Thank you. Yeah, th thank you so much for the question. You know, definitely. We like to see the stronger language in the uh, resolution. Of course, uh, the, uh, the, the, all the atrocities committed, by, uh, uh, committed against the people of Myanmar are, are the, by the military. So that is why we like to see the, uh, specifically mentioning 
the atrocities committed by the military in the resolution, as well as we also like to see the, you know, if they fail to comply with, uh, with, with the provisions of the resolution, there be some language like the chapter seven language uh, should be added in the uh, resolution. Also, the, with regard to the reporting, of course, we like to see regular reporting uh, uh, to the Security Council by the, the UN Secretariat and the you know, member states. And then, of course, we like to see the you know, arms embargoes against the military because uh, the, the last year at the General Assembly resolution is clearly mentioned about the, uh, uh, the, the prevent the flow of arms uh, to, to, to Myanmar. So in particular, we like to see the arms embargoes against the military. Thank you. So, so of course, we like to, 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 to encourage our uh, friends and partners to support and to hear the uh, voices of the people of Myanmar, to listen to the aspiration of the people of Myanmar who are longing for the restoration of democracy and who are longing for the building a federal demo, uh, democratic union in Myanmar. So what we'd like to request everyone, including our neighboring countries and the, you know, uh, uh, beyond the, the region, to support the people of Myanmar for our efforts to build a federal democratic union. Thank you. Thank you so much.